the presence of the Lord in your own style. You can do it silently. You can uh, shout in your own style and be in the presence of the Lord and tell the Lord to accept you in his presence this day and that uh, you can pour your heart before the Lord. You can tell the Lord to look upon you um, uh, uh, in a massive way, uh, massively in the name of Jesus. Tell the Lord that uh, you would want to repent in his presence. Even as we stand in this altar in the mighty name of Jesus, even as we gather to pray, come on somebody, open up your mouth, open up your heart, pour your heart before the Lord. The, your, your father knows you well and he just wants us to confess that he will show us mercy in the mighty name of Jesus. Just ask the Lord to show you mercy in the name of Jesus at your own capacity even before we go to pray for the nation and other prayer items in the name of Jesus. Uh, just be in the presence of the Lord. Humble, let us humble ourselves in the presence of the Lord and ask the Lord to receive us this day and even to hear our cry and our petitions uh, even as we have learned in the book of Psalm 84 verse number 8 uh, that all Lord of host uh, hear our prayers uh, and that uh, the keeper of the east altar uh, Pastor Doug as our excellency said uh, that the prayer of a righteous person will always uh, 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 go before the Lord uh, come on somebody pour your heart be honest open your heart before the Lord uh, and ask the Lord to show you mercy uh, confess our sins in the name of Jesus uh, let God show us mercy in the mighty name of Jesus Jesus, uh, as we make that prayer, allow me stand on my knees on uh, behalf of every one of us, uh, even as we surrender before the Lord uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, Heavenly Father, we thank you. We give you glory. I also surrender upon this altar. I'm not the other, the other one to be standing in this place, dear Father, uh, to conduct this prayer session, uh, uh, but it is by thy mercies. Uh, Heavenly Father, I humble myself in thy presence, Lord. Uh, I seek of thy cleansing, Lord. Uh, as Sanctification, Jehovah Shama, a Jehovah Tisidikeno, a God my justifier. I surrender unto thee as a vessel. Heavenly Father, minister to us. Holy uh, Ghost, intercede with us this day in the mighty name of Jesus. A uh, uh, Lord, we thank you. We give you glory. Thank you for your God of mercy. Thank you for your loving kindness. Thank you for your compassion. Thank you. It is forgiven us. A uh, uh, thank you, God Almighty. We now disconnect with the rest of the world. Uh, we now connect into thy presence. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray and believe to say my amen. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the living God. We have some three major prayer items that we want to present before the Lord. The first prayer item will be this nation, this nation and the governance of this nation. And then we will pray for the church. We, you will allow me to interrupt in some uh, point so that we can be able to pray for all those. Uh, and then we shall pray for the family of His Excellency, um, uh, 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 the Deputy President, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, and now at this point, I will request us to stand in Jesus' mighty holy name. Katika Jina, Yesu Christo. Even as we go before the Lord, the Bible says in the book of Psalm uh, 33, verse number 12, the Bible says that blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord. Praise the name of the living God. Uh, from this national altar this day, we want to take this opportunity and dedicate this nation once again unto the Lord and declare that Kenya belongs to the Lord that Kenya can never be fall into shame in the mighty name of Jesus. I want us to lift up our voices in the mighty name of Jesus and declare, declare that Kenya it belongs to the law. Kenya is for the law. In this, from this prayer altar, from this national altar, we declare, declare that any other altar that lifted itself in this nation shall not flourish in the mighty name of Jesus. Come on, open up your mouth. The Bible says in Psalm 66, and David said, thank you, Lord, for you and my voice. Your voice is weighted in heaven. You cannot afford to be silent in the presence of the Lord. Come on, declare and prophesy upon Kenya in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus uh, and declare declare and uh, that this nation is blessed uh, and that this nation belongs to the Lord uh, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus uh, not any other altar that shall raise his tail over in this nation uh, uh, shall prosper uh, command the soil of Kenya uh, to reject and format uh, any other strange and wicked altar of the enemy in the mighty name of Jesus uh, and declare declare and that the altar 
and the righteous altar and that is of the most high God it shall flourish and shall reign upon this nation rikata bazoke teri bazayando makata zeke tarabarakozi aribahanda amaseke taribazaya rekeke tezi bakora ribahanda abba father in the mighty name of Jesus upon this altar king of kings we thank you lord we give you glory we declare declare that Kenya belongs unto thee Jehovah in the mighty name of Jesus we declare the Kenya unto thee Jehovah in the mighty name of Jesus we commit the nation to thy able hands we commit the governance of the day to thy able hands in the mighty name of Jesus Heavenly Father we arise against every enemies of the, this nation dear Father we arise against every thought that is wicked in the mighty name of Jesus Krekata Zekata in the mighty name of Jesus we declare declare and that this nation belongs unto thee dear father and let this nation never strip off your hands Jehovah God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ our father hear us this hour Katika Jinara Yesu we uproot every altar and that lifted the self against the will and the knowledge of God in this nation in the name of Jesus we now brand a righteous altars across the 47 counties across the entire nation we release righteous altars in the mighty name of Jesus Heavenly Father we thank you we give you glory for this land of Kenya it is the gift from the Lord Heavenly Father we pray that this gift of this nation that you have given us we shall handle it with care. God Almighty, look favorably upon Kenya. Guard our borders in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the Spirit of the Lord cover the nation in the name of Jesus. Let there be the saturation of the grace and the Spirit of God upon the land of Kenya in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, uh, we pray for the governance of the day. In the mighty name of Jesus, uh, and the governance of the day is the child of the church. Uh, and we rededicate the entire governance. Uh, His Excellency the President, uh, His Excellency the Deputy President, uh, and the entire cabinet. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, uh, we decree declare. In the mighty name of Jesus, uh, and that the righteous ones shall only prevail. In the mighty name of Jesus, uh. in the mighty name of Jesus, 25 Proverbs 25. I told you, you would allow me to interject in some minute, in some point. Proverbs 25, verse 5, the Bible says, Take away the wicked from the king from before the king and his throne will be established in righteousness take away the wicked from anywhere the king and then the throne shall be established in righteousness Isaiah 32 verse 17 the Bible says and this righteousness will bring peace in the mighty name of Jesus hallelujah just open up your mouth you are in the altar as you were told at the opening remarks by our excellency that in this altar we command this nation open up your mouth and declare, declare that if there is anyone or any mind that is wicked that is around the presidency of this day oh mahakata zekata fire them in the name of jesus repress them with the righteous in the mighty name of jesus and declare declare that the righteous will take over in every circle, in, in every circle, Katika Jinara Yesu, if there are wicked people that surround the president, ah, Bakadaya, fire them in the name of Jesus. And this is the power and the authority that we have upon this altar. And this is the altar of the living God. And they that misread the king, and let them be fired, and deploy the mighty hand to pick them out.
out of anywhere near the state house uh, in the name of Jesus uh, it, it doesn't matter in what circles are uh, the proximities uh, even if they could be in anything even if they're in the media even if they're in the secretariat uh, even if they're in the cabinet uh, wherever they are uh, and they are in the circles of the presidency and they're influencing either directly or spiritually by the powers of darkness uh, uh, fire them in the name of Jesus uh, fire them in the name of Jesus uh, anywhere near the president and the deputy president uh, and their spouses in the name of Jesus uh, and plant the righteous ones uh, uh, for the Bible says uh, uh, that the, the righteousness of the Lord uh, uh, shall establish uh, uh, the king the, the thrones of the king uh, and the presidents of this nation uh, uh, shall be established by righteousness uh, in the mighty name of Jesus uh, it is a serious business. Uh, call upon the hand of the Lord uh, and the outstretched.